that I have to spend hour after hour after hour calling constituents back and explaining to them what the supremacy clause is of the United States Constitution and why we cannot overrule a federal law. If you want to change the federal government, get involved in a congressional race somewhere. I could honestly care less if we have to make tough decisions because I believe that's what we were elected to do was to come up here and represent our constituents to debate and question important issues like this. I have been questioned, I have been demonized for even bringing this subject up before a committee. I will tell you, as I worked my district over the last two years, no single subject has been brought to my attention more than this issue from my constituents. Not a single subject. Now there may be some of your districts that this is not an important issue, but I doubt that very seriously. I just don't know where we got to a point in society where a individual's personal liberties are more important than someone else's personal liberties. The question was posed, you know, when did individual liberties essentially be become so important? The answer is 1776, again in 1787, and for sure in 1789 when the Bill of Rights was enacted, because our country was founded on individual liberties, on protecting individual rights. The Declaration of Independence says that to secure these rights, governments are instituted. The very purpose of government is to secure our rights. That's what we're supposed to be about, is protecting the rights of the individuals. But I'm going to have to be a note today, um, and I hope that there's something that we can do to continue to move forward. I'll be a note today, and there's, I don't see there's, there's a way to fix the fact that we are meddling in private businesses affairs. Do the math on those numbers. This is not going to be devastating for small businesses or big businesses or any business. And let us also not forget that it, this is only if the business fires or places on unpaid leave the individual. Only if. So you may call this a mandate, but it's only a mandate if the employer does this. I'm shocked that people would say that they're, they're, they're going to object to this mandate when 90% of the bills that we heard in this committee today were mandates on businesses, directly on the business, and some people may claim, well, it was to protect the consumer or different things, but those were mandates on businesses. So I'm, I'm a little surprised at, at the insistence and the things that have been stated. We've had the question on what's the cost of the state, 5.5 billion. To me, right now, we are debating on not just what the cost to the state of Oklahoma is going to be, but what is the price tag we're going to put on someone's individual freedom to be able to decide what they put into their body. And if we're not willing to hear topics like that, then I, I, I don't believe we need to be here.